Hey guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. Today, good back, could be back on the court. I actually, we arrived with Rodrigo actually uh, about 6.20 a.m. We were here, it was a still night. We were trying to be the first one to get into the public court. We had time to record some uh, lessons with him. And uh, one thing that we're gonna be working today again, we're gonna keep pushing into his back. And you probably have seen, if you didn't, I will put you the link in the description for the other video with him where we started to work on his backhand. I will just uh, brief you in. The problem he has, it's from many years of just playing, playing, playing and never actually taking a lesson or somebody um, working on his technique. So he has a very bad habit on the backhand and very stiff hands, especially the left hand. When he hits, instead of having a good and a smooth follow through, he hits the ball most of the times with the racket open and then he follows up with the racket so it's actually very hard for him to find uh, some um, feeling into the backhand so let's get right into the into the exercises I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna work you're gonna see three exercises that we're gonna do you're gonna see still some rough balls but again this is from seven eight years of bad habits of never working on techniques so we have to keep you know bringing new things and bringing new ideas and exercises to make him feel uh, the hand again, all right? Let's get into it. So the first exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna do three. It's all gonna be hand drills. Two exercises are gonna be just more thinking into the placement and the work, okay? More with the dead ball, kind of like a dead ball. The work on the hand and the last one that we're gonna do is just gonna be him walking in okay moving back and forth between the middle and the backhand side just trying to free the hand okay and trying to to have the feeling of freedom when he hits just thinking into into following through into punishing with the left hand and not thinking too much in the placement okay the one the second one is actually more for the hand speed for him to to learn okay to get down on the ball and then brushing something that we've we've been talking into the backhand videos when when we talk you know on how to create a spin so it's just let's just jump into the exercises you're gonna see them and i will see you uh we will talk a little after let's go come on there you go there you go don't come too much from behind come more from the side recover to the middle a little there you go come on there you go you just go hit recover a little come on come recover to the middle there you go Coming in and out all the time. Work with the left hand. There you go, work with the left hand. Watch out the space between your leg and the ball. Okay, there in front, look for the ball in front. Left hand, left hand, don't stop, left hand. There you go, stay low, stay low. Come on, stay low. Nice, come on. Stay low, there you go, left hand. Okay, let's go. There you go, let's go. There you go, you see how your left hand is so stiff, extended. You need to relax it more. Just brush with the left hand. There you go, brush, brush. There you go, use your legs more. There you go, brush with the left. Oh my bad, brush with the left. There you go, brush, brush, brush. There you go. Here, let me show you one thing. When I say that you have to brush, the problem with you, remember, with this, that is not helping you to brush the ball fast and close. So what you have to do here is letting the hands drop. You see this movement here? You see this? Letting the hands drop so you can get to the ball at this point from here, get to the ball and brush fast. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So instead of just doing this, you need to let the racket drop to hit here. You see how my hands get in here? To then brush fast. So these hands has to be like a forehand, so relaxed. Here. The idea is that, that you work so much with the left with the left hand. Come on, there you go, that's good. Get from under, from under. There you go, from under. There you go, from under. You mean here. From under and brush fast. So it's exactly the same thing that you do in a forehand here, just brushing, you have to do here. But now you have the other hand to help you. Alright? So this drill that we're gonna do here, I like to do it 
a lot and it's the way I used to learn this and what we're gonna do is just I'm gonna stay in the middle of the court I'm gonna feed balls and he will have the freedom to come in and actually punish the ball hit really hard the ball just not thinking on of course trying to go to cross court but not thinking if the ball is going in or out what we're trying to do here is kind of like freedom his mind just to get in and punish the ball punish the ball kind of like it was ripping forehands but now trying to rip and find the freedom you can see that he has a huge trouble in having a relaxed left hand to brush on the backhand so what we're trying here you know all different drills to free his left hand so he can feel you know more relaxed more smooth to hit and actually make the work that he needs to do with the left hand and correct it from going up like this to having a good follow through all right let's go come on move faster move faster come on there you go cross cross just punish with the left hand there you go follow through follow through there you go come on free the left hand remember this and not going up Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. That one, that one. Come on. Come on. Just find a space. Alright guys, that was it for today. You saw the three exercises, you, you, you probably saw we have, we still have to work on so much. Okay, it's, it's gonna be really, really tough. He knows it because seven, eight years, again, it's a long time with bad habits, you know how tough it is. But I really like to bring these videos because you can see in somebody, you know, uh, more like in a real recreational level, how we work, okay, how we get to things. Sometimes I get there, you know, hit all the buttons. You can see many things from me but I actually want you to feel and to see the problems that other players have and how we approach them. And you can see that it's actually a process, okay? Like I, I've been always telling you, there is no magic tricks, no, you know, uh, videos that are gonna change your backhand forever. No, this is work, it's drills, it's repetitions, and it's always looking for adjustments to make it better. So that was it. If you guys really like this video, please like it, share with your friends, any comments, any suggestion on the comments. I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.